Hi, I'm Michelle Holbrook with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services here in Fernandina Beach in May Island, Florida. And I'm here with Barbara Hopkins of the Plantations Artist Guild and Gallery. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, and it's a pleasure. When I met you, I was so excited about being able to interview you because as much as I'm not an artist, I love to see other people's art. So it's so wonderful. Explain what the Plantations Artist Guild and Gallery is. Well, this is my favorite thing to talk about. Um, this is a co-op. It is a nonprofit, and it is in its 10th year. It has survived very well. We have certainly had our struggles in the beginning. But with all the membership and how hard they work, um, things have just done extremely well. And we look forward to another 10 great years. As a nonprofit, we do have our quarterly opening receptions for new shows. And at that time, we have a partner who is our host supporter, and that is Osprey Village. And Osprey always provides all of the uh, hors d'oeuvres and the, the wine and decoration. They just do a beautiful job. And besides that, we also sponsor a charity. And our local charity this particular last month was the Fernandina Police Foundation. But certainly we support all other charities such as Micah's Place and on and on. So um, that's what we do. Now, you state nonprofit um, at Micah's Place, um, the Police Auxiliary Commission, and I was here when you had that, and what a beautiful event. Um, and it goes, like you said, to our Fernandina Beach Police Auxiliary and helping others. Um, what do you love most about your organization, or what would your members say they love most? Well, our focus is primarily on opportunities where we have other artists come in, sometimes we do it ourselves, and we teach people different techniques or what our technique is so that they can feed off of that. And all creative people need the association with others who are also creative. And it just, it just brings you up another level. And I think that's what almost all the members would say, that what they love the most about the Plantation Artists Guild and Gallery is that camaraderie that they have with other artists. It is not private. You do not have to come through gates. Uh, the public is welcome here always. And uh, sometimes that is a misconception. So certainly the public, everyone, uh, from downtown all around, over the bridge, all of you are very welcome here. In fact, we have members from all of those areas. So please do come and don't think that you can't get in here, you can. What has surprised you most about being a part of this organization? Um, I think the biggest surprise would have to be that people that come in and want to be a part of this had often said to me, when they would just be looking at the art here, they would say things like, I can't draw a straight line. You know, everybody says that. That's I can't me. draw a straight line either <laughs> without a ruler. And so, uh, but they said, we love art, we'd love to be involved in this, but there, there's not a way, I'm not an artist. Well, now there's a way, because we have opened up a new membership this past year, which is our 10th year of existence. We have something called the Art Lovers. And the art lovers play, pay a minimal membership fee, but they are full members, and they just don't exhibit their art. And they can volunteer their time in any way that they want to, whenever we have workshops or lectures or any activity that we have um, next, next month. We're taking a, a motorcade and we're all going down to Jacksonville to visit Cork, which is um, a a group of artists that are all organized in that area, in a big warehouse area. And they are free to go and participate in all those at a discounted rate because they are members. And so before we open things to the public totally, which we do all the time, um, they, they get first shot. So they do get some benefits. We get the benefits of additional members. And we're looking forward to more and more of them wanting to step up and actually 
work behind the counter and keep the gallery open, but it's whatever these members would like to do to be a part of the gallery. How much does your membership cost? It's 125 for a full exhibiting member for a year. And for our uh, art lovers, it's $50 for a single person, $75 for a family. That's great, and that's very that's a very reasonable very price. Reasonable. <laughs> Say I wanted to come to an art class or someone that I know. Do you have art classes or we different? Do. We don't have them as a regular standing opportunity, but you will see almost every other month, sometimes every month, you will see opportunities to come to a workshop. Our hours are for most days are eleven to five. But I must say that on Tuesdays, as today, we open at 9 o'clock and we close at 1 because Tuesday afternoons are usually the times that we have our workshops and our lectures and our meetings and those things. And then on Saturdays, uh, it is 11 to 5, but on Sunday, we're open from 1 to 5, and I think people don't realize that either. And Sunday afternoon is a really nice time to visit a gallery. And you know what? They can go see uh, Pastor Conrad at the Plantation That's Chapel right. and then come right over they here and um, view the art and, and purchase some arts to go to the nonprofits. Barbara, thank you so much. It was so great. I enjoyed this interview and I've really enjoyed meeting you. Again, I'm Michelle Holbrook with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services and I am with Barbara Hopkins of the Plantations Artists Guild and Gallery. Thank you. Thank you.